Hello everyone and welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I am here today to do an update reading for whoever needs one or whoever the angels tell me needs one. We are going to choose a sign and you obviously already know what the sign is because you clicked on this video. <laughs> What's wrong with my nail? It's dirt or something on my nail. Oh my goodness. I was digging in my garden earlier. I apologize, everyone. Sorry. Okay, maybe that means I need to stop. Should we look at the top? Yes. Virgo. <laughs> Didn't I just do Virgo? All right. Well, the angels say goes, what else was under that? Gemini. Okay. I'm going to put that up there. Looks like you are getting another message, Virgo. All right. We will start off with an angel message. Angels, what message do you have for my Virgo friends watching this video today? You must want to tell them something. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. So keep yourself focused on the big picture, Virgo, and do not let anything get in your way. Don't let obstacles bring you down or things that other people may say about what you're doing. Show me a message for Virgo, please. Show me a message for Virgo. What else do you need to tell my Virgos? Anything? <laughs> I don't remember what your reading was about the other day. I do so many. Look at those blessings and abundance. Very nice. Okay, that's coming out twice, the word abundance. Okay, we are going to leave that on the side. I think everyone knows what a blessing is. Abundance comes in many forms. It does not always have to be money. It could be a job offer, a page of pentacles, something you are studying, something you are curious about. The page of pentacles represents something on the earthly plane, something that you can touch. Sorry, guys. That was my alarm. <laughs> I apologize for that. I'll cut it out of the video. But anyway, okay, so the current energy is the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could, all right, so the Four of Pentacles is in your challenge position, sign of Capricorn. That represents holding on to something, holding back. I do think that you had that card the other day something that you need to let go of. With the Four of Pentacles being in the challenge position, this could represent saving money or holding on to your money. Maybe you need to hold on to your money. There's the beautiful Empress. I always look at this as a Virgo card. It is Libra Taurus energy. The Empress is abundance. So we have abundance coming up here three times. This can represent a pregnancy. I do also have a mother and a child here. It can represent something growing, but it is Venus. It is love. It is luxury. It is beauty in all forms. Maybe you are getting your hair done or getting your nails done or getting something done for yourself. Five of Swords, sign of Aquarius. This is in the past position. The Five of Swords is winning a battle but losing something in the process to me. Okay, so it doesn't have to be you. It could be the other person. It usually does represent some type of conflict for me. All right, there is a, in this particular card, this is somebody who's yakking in somebody's ear and it's giving someone a headache, <laughs> if you can see that. So maybe someone's getting on your nerves with what they're saying. The moon is what is on your mind. This is your, it represents your emotions. It represents fear. It represents the sign of cancer. 
Um, the moon and the empress are mothering energies to me. So this could have something to do with someone's mother or someone may desire to become a mother. The forward position, we now have the emperor. So we have the empress and the emperor in the same reading. Wow, talk about powerful connection. Okay. Your role or attitude is justice, all right? You want fairness, you want equality. There may be some contracts or something to sign here, something legal. With the empress and the emperor, maybe the emperor is giving this empress a gift. Hmm. So far, it looks pretty good. Your outside influences is the Knight of Wands. Could represent travel. It could represent someone rushing in full of passion and excitement and being brave. That is my new direction card, okay? The hopes or fears is the temperance card. So there is something here about equality and things being in balance, things being fair, things being equal. And the final outcome is the Knight of Swords. It looks like someone is running away here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sagittarius. This is also fire, Libra, Aries, and I think the rest of them I said. The bottom of the deck the Ace of Wands. So we have two knights here, both showing me that there is a lot of action here, possibly quick action that someone is going to be taking. Underneath the Ace of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, that could be your energy, Virgo. I feel there is a relationship here that was possibly going through a difficult time with the Five of Swords here in the past. Maybe there was some type of argument, conflict, disagreement. The Five of Swords can sometimes represent someone who doesn't want to hear what you have to say or doesn't want to listen to your point of view. But there's a lot of equality, balance, healing in this reading. I also feel like you're getting some type of gift from the universe. Something abundance, abundance. Um, the king of pentacles, emperor here. Someone may be either opening their own business or have an opportunity to start their own business or be getting one heck of a promotion. The problem is this moon card that is on your mind. I feel like, you know what, I'm going to use Kipper cards. Um, I feel like you may be, I don't want to say afraid. It's like you need more information. I feel like something is coming in very quickly and it's almost like you're saying, well, wait a minute, slow down. Let's talk about this. Um, Cause someone seems to be very excited about this abundance that you're receiving. Let's pull some Kipper cards and see if we can get a little bit more information as to exactly what this is. Can you tell me what this abundance is for Virgo, please? Okay, we have a mature woman, which could absolutely be you. Show me, I feel like, I feel like there could be a proposal of marriage here as well. There's some, somebody is giving you like a gift, a gift of just justice. You're getting justice for whatever happened over here. Justice is in your role or attitude, high honor. Someone looking up to you, someone valuing you, someone respecting you for like standing your ground or show me one more marriage. I could see that. There might be a proposal here. Message of concern. I, I kind of wonder if someone is fearing that someone's going to run away or... But in this particular car, this man is turning his back and he's running away, but he's running towards the motorcycle to get on and do to move faster. Um, the Knight of Swords can represent harsh communication along with the Five of Swords, but I love this Page of Pentacles in the center of the reading. Let's pull you a, um, you know what, let's pull a couple of these angel messages. Angels, show me additional messages. 
I feel like you have some type of decision to make with this justice card. Show me additional messages for Virgo about this opportunity that someone seems to be coming in with. Four of thought. Spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels or your own inner voice. Now, the moon can also represent your intuition because overanalyzing a situation won't provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation can be very helpful. Now, the Four of Swords is also healing because I'm seeing that with the Temperance card. You're hoping that something can be be healed here show me i i get an overall sense that someone feels guilty for this five of swords energy the way that they treated you or maybe they disrespected you or said something that hurt your feelings in the way i keep hearing kill them with kindness kill them with kindness ten of cups life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others. You are rewarded with unconditional love. Absolutely. Whatever happened here is turning around. Someone... I, I keep here like getting this rushing in with this gift or this present or this opportunity or... Page of Pentacles again. Wonderful news regarding your career, a new job or promotion. There's the promotion. King of Pentacles with the Emperor here. Now someone may be saying, well, I'm afraid to be the Emperor or I'm afraid to be the leader or I'm not sure that I want to do this. Uh, acceptance into an excellent school. Mm, I don't really have much school here, but that could be significant for someone. You may feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. And with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, I do feel like you're taking action and you're prepared for this challenge. I feel like you're excited about it as well with the Ace of Wands. This situation may involve someone who's fun to be around and sometimes mischievous. This person who may be you is youthful, optimistic, and very clever. Okay, so let's get you a message from the Goddess Oracle deck and see if we can get a little bit. Oh, you know what? Before I like to do that at the end because I like to read it. Let's do an angel answer segment. You can ask a question. Show me the answers to Virgo's question, please. Once the third card is down, you can pick one, two, or three as your answer. You don't have to be a Virgo to play if you want to play, and you don't have to play at all if you don't want to. I'm going to put them together for you anyway. Let's not let you see those. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that one came face up. All right. I didn't see that. Okay, well, we'll put it up there. Perfect timing. Something is coming in exactly when you need it. It's like... Just when you thought everything was falling apart, this this thing just drops out of the sky and it's like you're overanalyzing the situation. Like, should I do this? Should I take it? Someone's showing you like an awful lot of respect here. No is answer number one. There's something better. Answer number two communicate clearly and with the page of pentacles i do feel like you're having a conversation with this person the challenge position is to hold back if you're getting some type of offer and somebody's rushing in and they're like i need your answer right now and you're like oh my goodness well you may say no in the beginning and then the offer gets better with the knight of swords because a knight of swords can signify someone that's not going to leave you alone so if you say no at first, you may, you know, everybody's going to be able to do this in their own. This card's peeking out. What is it? Justice. 
I, it, it's, it's <laughs> this card was kind of sitting on it like that and I could see it and I'm like well it must be like that for a reason your angels are aware that you have concerns but be assured that there's nothing to worry about stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed once again I see that take time to review all the details thoroughly forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved you're forgiving someone for what Whatever happened here and you're getting justice and I feel like you're getting like a gift a job offer uh, some type of opportunity that's making you very excited I feel like it involves money eight of cups is there like a sacrifice here you have to walk away from one thing and say no in order to get something better and it's perfect timing interesting all right let's pull you a goddess message and we'll leave that portion of the reading there. I will read this from the book. These cards are pretty helpful with their descriptions. Radical acceptance. Okay, so maybe there's something that you need to accept about yourself. I feel like you have an opportunity to work together with another person. And it involves money. But it may also, I mean, I don't have the hangman here, but it may involve you having to give up something in order to get this opportunity. But they're telling you to take action. So, Freya, radical acceptance. Okay, when you see life as a battleground, that would be the Five of Swords, you lose sight of a more easeful way to be in the world. Can you stand in the middle of the chaos and allow yourself to center in the quiet home in the eye of the storm? Let the peace of Freya, the Norse goddess of war, enter your mind. Amid the flurry of battle, she comes to collect the fallen and bring them to a place of rest and recuperation. So that would be the Four of Swords. So after the battle, you're taking a break, you're resting and you're healing. Freya is here to remind you that the acceptance of defeat is not the end. She offers the gift of acceptance, the knowing that there is nothing to resist right now. So whatever this was, maybe you walked away from someone after an argument and you're in separation from this person and now they feel guilty for whatever happened and they're bringing you some type of a gift and that's, what's, that's what the justice is. See your world at face value and look into it with discernment. When you see with greater clarity, not taking this world so personally, you will not have to fight at all. If you take full stock of your conditions, surrendering to what is, you can move to a higher ground, begin again, or wait until the drama dies down on its own. You are, and that temperance card is being patient. You are the strongest, most grounded, and most powerful when you remember that this strategy of the goddess Freya offers in your support. On the bottom, we have co-creation. You're creating something with another person here. All right, this, something is over. There's something here that's ending in order for something better to come in. At the end of this reading, I'm getting this um, when one door closes, another one opens type of energy. And this may be difficult. This may be because you're either overanalyzing it or you're, you, you're worrying or you're having anxiety about making this decision. Like, should I do it? Should I? I don't know if this is, I don't think it's returning to the past. I feel like Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, I feel like this is something new, some type of new opportunity. But with that said, I am going to leave that there, Virgo. I do hope that I was able to help someone with this message today. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.